drawings, Mom? You got your drawing hat? You got whatever you want to draw in? We'll put it on, friends, because you know what it's time for? Oh, yeah. It's time to draw, but first... Let's dance. Stand up. Shake the arms. Shake the neck. And dance it. And dance it. And dance it. This is very serious. This is the most important part of drawing, is when we... Do it, dance. And we're in the kids' gallery. Check out all that cool art. Do you want to get the kids? Yes. I'm here with Suso. Suso's dancing. You dancing? You dance? You dancing? She's not dancing. Oh. A lot of dancing. Suso was dancing on the inside. Take a deep breath. And pencils up. Hello. And welcome to Draw Together. I'm Wendy Mack. We are here with Suso, the dancing dog. You know, sometimes dancing. And Caroline, artist in Caroline. She's shy. And you. What's your name? I'm so happy to see you. And we are here to draw together. Oh, yes, this is a Band-Aid. I got an owie. I had a little art accident. I was building this robot out of like tin foil and cardboard and I had like some, uh, anyway, long story short, I got a little owie and somebody who cares about me very much, her name is Dr. Lee. She put a Band-Aid on me and made me feel so much better. Does anybody ever do that for you? When you get hurt, you get an owie. And then somebody who cares about you puts a Band-Aid on it, maybe gives it a kiss. It feels a lot better, right? Yeah. You know, I wonder what Dr. Lee's up to right now. Should we go say hi? Let's do it. Hi, Wendy. How are you? How's that hand feeling today? Thanks. It feels so much better. What are you up to today? Well, today I have a lot of meetings and a lot of the meetings around thinking about how we can keep kids safe from COVID. Oh, that is super cool. And, you know, also we happen to got a lot of questions from Draw Together Kids about the Corona vaccine. Dr. Lee, do you have time to answer a few of those questions? Absolutely. We've been talking a lot about the COVID vaccine for kids. So perfect timing. All right. Let's see. Who do we have in there? What are the questions we got? Hi, Wendy Mac. My name is Asha and I'm seven years old. And is the vaccine shot going to hurt? That's an excellent question. The COVID vaccine is a regular vaccine and that involves a needle. As you know from other vaccines that you may have gotten, you get a needle and you get a little poke in your arm or your leg. And so as the needle goes through the skin, there's a little prick of pain. And then because the vaccine is a little bit of liquid that we put inside your body, that little bit of liquid might make your muscles sore that night or the next day. But the good news is, is that soreness only lasts a day or two, and then you're back to feeling normal. Hi, Wendy. I want to say, what is the coronavirus vaccination made out of? Another really good question. So the coronavirus is made up of little tiny messages called mRNA hard thing to say, but it's many copies of those messages that goes to our body and tells us how to make the things that protect us. They're called antibodies. And so it tells our bodies how to make the right antibody that will prevent any coronavirus from coming into our body and making us sick. Is vaccine for coronavirus 
is safe for children? Should we all get it once it becomes available? We don't know yet, but we are studying it and we will know soon. It is safe though, if you're 16 and older. So if some of you kids have older brothers and sisters who are older than 16, they can get the vaccine today. Oh my gosh, just learned so much. Dr. Lee, thank you so much for taking the time to explain all of that to us. Thank you for your great questions. Thank you for doing everything you can to keep all of us safe. And thank you for drawing and making beautiful artwork. All right, Dr. Lee, see you again soon. You come back and visit us, okay? Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye, Wendy. Bye, Draw Together Kids. Well, that was cool. So I was thinking, when somebody gives us a Band-Aid, how does it make us feel? Well, pretty loved, right? It's a way that we can show people that we love them. It's by taking care of them. Band-Aid's one way to do that. So I was thinking, what if we draw a magical Band-Aid? that we can give to somebody who we want to take care of, somebody we love. It's not fun? I think so too. Come on, let's do it. Come on over here. What are we going to need? Well, okay, let's draw. So first thing we're going to do to draw our magical Band-Aid is we are going to turn this sideways like this, okay? We call this landscape. And I'm going to take my pen Let's just get straight to it. I'm gonna draw a square right in the middle of the page. For everything that we draw and everything that we see in the world is made up of shapes. Here I'm gonna draw a C, a big long C with extra long arms. Also kind of like, if you look at it, it's like half of an oval. I'm going to do the same thing, but the opposite on the other side. So a backwards C with extra long arms and another half of an oval on this side. And what do we have here? A pretty silly looking band-aid. Good job. Give yourself a round of applause. We have the basic shapes, right? But how do we make it look extra special and extra magical band-aid-y? With details. Details are just little things that make a big difference. Kind of like all of us are pretty similar, but it's the details of who we are that make us extra special. So I'm putting these dots on the Band-Aid. You put it, when you get a Band-Aid, you notice that it has these little dots? Maybe they have a lot of them. We can put a ton of them if you want. We can put a few. All right. We'll get to coloring in a second. But first, we're gonna figure out how we're going to make this Band-Aid special for the person or creature that you're giving yours to. So think about who you wanna give your magical Band-Aid to. Who do you want to tell, that you, tell them that you care so much? So I'm going to put a heart right in the middle of mine. Okay, can you look up for a second? I just wanna do a quick check-in. How's it going? is going super well. Look at your shapes and your detail. Ah, good job. All right, let's keep going. And you know what? I said we're going to hold off on coloring, but I'm just going to get straight into it. You can too. If you want to start coloring, grab your crayons, grab your pen, do whatever you want. If you want to go ahead and just start coloring outside of lines and inside of lines in any which way you want, this is your drawing, your magical band-aid. Oh, see how, look at that. See how the, the black pen is going into the pink paint there. I didn't expect that would happen. I uh, feel a little bummed about it, but you know what? That's okay. Actually, it looks kind of cool. Sometimes when we do something and it doesn't turn out the way we thought, we can get, you know, frustrated, but I think it's looking pretty cool. Cool things come out of it. All right. Now, I'm going to put an oval here and an oval here. Now I'm making my Band-Aid, my magical Band-Aid, for somebody named Suso. I put another oval around that oval on the side. Maybe a sideways. Boop. Check that out. Ah, what's, what's happening? What do you see coming out here? I'm gonna take a J shape, make a J shape. Boop. <laughs> and make 
an opposite side mirror. So if like the same, but the opposite way like that. Backwards, Jay. How you doing? It's fun? Yeah? You can just tell how much care you're putting into it. Whoever you give your magical band-aid to is gonna feel that care. All right, let's keep drawing. What do we have? Two triangles on the top. Kitty cat. Kitty cat. Yee! So fun. I made mine into a cat. What'd you make yours into? You can do anything you want. Your magical band-aid could be a unicorn, it could be a rainbow, it could be a fish, it could be a cow. It could be, it could also just be the same color skin as the person who you're giving it to. So see this one here, this is kind of a pinky color, right? It's close to the same color as my skin. But you know what? For so long, band-aids were only made in this color, which was so silly, very bad because there's so many different kinds of beautiful skin colors. So think about who you're giving it to and what their skin color is, and you could color that in there. All right, thank goodness they changed that. And now there's Band-Aids in all different kinds of skin colors. All right, I'm gonna color in mine yellow. This little cat's going to be yellow. I don't know, have you ever seen a yellow cat? Whatever you can imagine, you can draw. I'm going to make this outside part green. Pretty fun. It's nice. What's so special about these magic band-aids is the way they make person or creature that we give them to feel. When you get a Band-Aid, how do you feel? Well, it feels like the person who gives it to you cares for you, right? Like Dr. Lee gave me mine, she took care of me, that made me feel loved. I'm gonna cut out my Band-Aid now. If you have scissors and you wanna cut yours out, you can join me. Maybe get a caregiver to help you with yours if you want, if uh, you're not using scissors yet. But maybe we can cut it out. It was really nice of Dr. Lee to come and talk to us about vaccines and the coronavirus vaccine. That also made me feel very loved and cared for. Doctors and nurses, all of these people who take care of us, make us feel loved and safe. And when you give your magical Band-Aid to whomever you choose to give it to, you are going to make them feel loved and cared for too. I'm gonna to write the name of the creature that I'm giving mine to right there. <laughs> Suzo. <laughs> I hope she likes it. Suso. I drew this magical Band-Aid for you. I think she likes it, what do you think? Wow. When you give your magical Band-Aid or any artwork to somebody, it's a way of telling them that you care for them and that you love them. She's giving me kisses, she must like it a lot. <laughs> but that's what art is, it's a gift to share with people that we love. And like Band-Aids are a way for us to care for each other. Right, Suso? <laughs> right. All right, what do we say at the end of every class? We say, everything is better when we draw together. See you soon.